What's good YouTube? It's your man Rage King back with another one. Yes, another upload to the channel. And before we get started, ask if y'all please go down there and hit that like button, hit that sub button, hit that share button, hit that bell for notifications if you're new. Welcome to Rama Rage TV. This is how we do Rage and Rebels. Crown up. And if you're new to the crew, welcome to the Rage and Rebel Revolution. Now let's vibe and y'all. We got some news concerning NBA 2K24. And as you know, the game is right on the horizon. For those that are interested in the game, getting the game, more power to you. For those that decide they're going to skip on the game, hey, that's cool too, man. Different strokes for different folks. And I know you got your reasons for why you want to buy it versus the reasons why you don't. Hell, you ain't got to convince me no different. I understand completely on either side of the spectrum. However, for those that are interested in the badge news that we got going on with NBA 2K, man, I think we need to go ahead and have a quick rundown on all the different things that we'll be looked forward to, that you should look forward to in the next game, and the things that are going to be taken out as far as badge news, man. So without further ado, let Rage King show you what's up. Yes, sir. As you see right here, we're going to go ahead and start off with the badges that they have removed. From NBA 2K24, shouts out to NBA Leaks and Intels, man. NBA 2K24 Leaks and Intels. If you have a Twitter and are interested in anything 2K, please give this man a follow, man. He puts in tireless work, man. And hey, shouts out to you once again, big homie. But as you see right here on your screen, the badge is removed from hashtag NBA 2K24. Let's go down through the list. Limitless takeoff. I am okay with this because I'm about tired of watching dudes take off from the free throw line like we playing Space Jam or something. No, I'm glad that that's gone. I'm glad that that's gone. Me personally, glad that it's gone. The bully badge is gone. Now, with that being said, with the bully badge, I did enjoy the bully badge for those that are interior finishers, but I think if I'm not mistaken, they have replaced this bully badge and, and named it something else. So I think this was more the removal of the name of the bully badge versus the actual bully badge itself being taken out. Clamp breaker. I'm not gonna lie. That one is a little iffy to me. That one's a little bit iffy to me. I mean, I get it. It's probably more lean towards the fact that NBA 2K wants you to pass the ball a little bit more. But that one, I'm kind of 50-50 on that one. I'm kind of 50-50 on that one. Maybe that one's been replaced with something else too. You never know. The menace badge. I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of disappointed that that one's gone. Because even though it seems that 2K is going to a more is looking to reward the defense a little bit more, I am a little bit disappointed that that one is gone because you know you actually see that on the court. You actually see that in NBA. You actually see that in NBA basketball. If a guy's an absolute off-ball pest, well, no pun intended. But if the guy's an absolute pest, like it's hard for you to get the ball when you get the ball, he's in your head. That that badge to me mattered a little bit because it was actually something you actually see in basketball you had guys like ron artest who will lock down defenders you got guys like draymond green to a lesser degree who will lock down defenders that know how to get in your head and is an absolute menace to play against so i was i'm kind of disappointed that that badge is gone i'm not gonna lie mismatch expert uh i'm kind of 50 50 on that one too i don't i don't necessarily hate it so maybe more 70 30 i'm kind of okay with this badge being gone right here i'm not gonna lie a uh, quick first step. I know a lot of dribblers are going to be upset that that badge is gone. Um, so with that being said, hey, more power to the defense, I guess. Vice grip. That badge right there, kind of upset that that badge is gone, specifically off a rebound. If you're going to get a rebound and you got guys that just want to spam, square, spam, square, spam, square, if you play Xbox, spam, X, spam, X, spam the steal button, if you will. Uh, not being able to have that badge to be able to hold on to the ball and secure the ball after a rebound. I'm kind of upset that that one's kind of gone too, but that's just my personal opinion. The Amped Badge. Uh, kind of disappointed that that one's gone too. I thought it was a nice addition to NBA 2K23, uh, but I do also understand the argument that that, ga that that badge should be gone and it should be based more on stats that, ba that basketball in NBA 2K, if you're gonna get back to actual simulation basketball, that ba that stats matter more, attributes matter more than actual badges bailing them out despite the stats being lowered. So I do understand. I do understand the argument for that one being gone. Clutch shoot, uh, clutch shooter. Um, I'm kind of 50-50 with that one as well for the simple fact that if you got a guy that's known, I mean, we've seen it. You saw the, it, hell, Kobe Bryant, one of the greatest closers of all time, one of the most clutch shooters, no pun intended, 
in NBA history, man. You never wanted the ball in his hands because you knew when it came to the final two minutes of the game, in overtime or the final closing out seconds of the game, you did not want him to touch the ball because it was a good chance he was going to hit that game winning shot and he was looking forward to it. So I'm kind of I'm kind of on the fence with this one. I thought that that was a, a badge they should have kept in the game. Floor general has been in the game for a while. Um, again, I'm kind of disappointed that that one is taken out of the game because you see floor general point guards like a, C, a CP3, uh, guys that are playmakers like Alonzo, like a Lamelo Ball, hell Alonzo Ball. Whenever he gets back to playing, whenever that is, you have different point guards and you have different forwards that handle the ball, a LeBron James, if you will. That as soon as they step on the court, they make their teammates better. You see this. To a lesser degree, you look at Jokic from the center position. When he's on the floor, the people he plays the game with, his teammates, automatically become better because he's on the floor. So I'm kind of disappointed that that one's gone. And volume shooter. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm kind of biased on this. I like the fact that this badge was into NBA 2K23, and I'm kind of disappointed that it's gone because you actually see this too. You saw this with guys earlier on for the older fans, you know, like a J.R. Smith. The more shots he got up, it seemed like he got hot. You understand what I'm saying? The more he shot the ball, it seems like the better he shot throughout the game. So I'm kind of upset that that one is gone. And so far, that is all the badges that have been removed from NBA 2K24 that we know of. So now... As we've taken a look at the badges that have been taken out, let's take a look at the badges that they have added. Now, as you take a look here, shouts out again to NBA Leaks and Intel, the defensive badges that have been added to NBA 2K24. You look at it right here. Championships are built on defense and defenders in NBA 2K24 will not be left behind. It's about time because I, I'm absolutely sick of the only defense that matters is if you're spamming the steal button and getting reward for it, getting rewarded for it, whether you're in position or not. So I'm actually looking forward to this because I take pride in playing defense myself. Fast feet badge. It wouldn't be a fair game if only the offensive players received speed boosts. I agree with that wholeheartedly. Fast feet can be looked at as a quick first step badge for defenders, allowing defensive specialists to stay in front of shifty ball handlers. I am all for this badge right here. If you are going to be able to roam freely on offense with the ball, I figure that I as a defender, if I, if I, if I read your moves and I have the attributes to boot, I should be able to keep up with you. You have to legitimately use uh, a combination of dribble moves or just pass the ball and cut you know give and go in order to be successful you shouldn't be able to just dribble 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 throw up a shot i mean we 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 can't we give james harden such slack for playing that ray irl so why are we allowing it in the game you understand what i'm saying at the end of the day this is nba simulation basketball or at least it should be and that's how it's sold to us moving on right stick ripper those who utilize the right stick steal mechanic, say that five times fast, will receive a boost on steal attempts with right stick ripper. I am for this again because not only you don't get to just spam, you don't just get to spam the steal button. You have to actually use your brain to play the game. I am all for that. I will never be against having uh, having uh, different mechanics in the game that force you to think because at the end of the day, Sports, no matter how athletic you are, no matter how uh, good you are, how talented you are, if you don't have the mental capacity to get the job done, you're going to be just another guy. And I'm all for that. All for that. Immovable Enforcer, a direct counter to Bulldozer. Oh, so there goes your bully badge right there. They just renamed it to Bulldozer. Immovable Enforcer allows defenders to win physical matchup when it comes to body ups and contact layups. I am for this right here because as I have said throughout the years, I am all for the game having things that you can do to get open. I'm all for that. But at the same time, the balance comes in when there is a counter for everything. If you have a counter for everything, now it becomes a battle of wits. And as I've just alluded to, when you have to use your brain, your IQ is what should separate the good, the bad, and the great. You understand what I'm saying? So if you got the, the IQ, basketball IQ in a basketball game will always be welcome to me. Because at the end of the day, if you're going to sell an NBA simulation game, IQ should be the meta. Not builds, not certain badge combinations, but the IQ of the ball, of the, uh, of the, of the person playing the game. You understand what I'm saying? But that's just me. Y'all let me know if y'all disagree. 94 feet. 
Players with 94 feet receive fewer body up stamina hits and improved body up wins when pressing full court. Oh, okay. Don't worry, those who do not have this badge will regret pressing full court. I like this badge right here. I do. Because you've actually seen guys that can actually guard a full 94 feet. Guys like Rajon Rondo back in his prime. You understand what I'm saying? Guys like Gary Payton for the older for the older folks. Uh, for the people, you may have heard of this guy, Jose Alvarado, Grand Theft Alvarado. You understand what I'm saying? He's a guy that presses 94 feet and gets those quirky little steals and presses you from 94 feet. And that's how he made his way into the league, playing elite defense, full court defense. I am all for this. So I'm going to go ahead and give credit to 2K when it comes to introducing more realistic badges that you actually see in an NBA game, man. And wait, we got a little bit more, y'all. As you see right here, they have now taken the speed boost and made it an entire badge. So instead of just taking it out of the game or having certain dribble animations that you have to have in order to get it, they have now turned it into a badge. I think that this speed booster right here is going to be, I think basically they just remodeled it and made it, that's the new quick first step. You understand what I'm saying? So instead of just sitting there, spamming the dribble move, spamming the dribble move because you got a certain dunk package, now you have to use it as a badge. I'm kind of 50-50 on that because I'm not, I'm not really much of a speed boost fan, but if you're gonna replace, if you're gonna take out uh, quick first step, this was the way to go with it. So I'm 50-50 with it. At least you have to have a badge to actually use it. Let's move on. And as you see right here, shout out to Power DF, a very known content creator in, NBA, in the NBA 2K space. We have the ball handling and passing badges in NBA 2K24. Playmakers will find themselves with a surplus of new badge options. Relay Passer, a hockey assist badge. Relay Passer provides a boost to shooters and pass to assist situation. I'm all for this badge right here for the simple fact that it makes people, I see what 2K is trying to do this year and, I, and I'm all for it as far as the badge system goes. Uh, they're trying to make people pass the ball more. And I don't care who you are, in order to win at the game of basketball, you're going to need to give the rock up sometimes. You're just going to have to pass the ball. Now, I know they're going to have people that don't like that. Well, boo-hoo, all right? You've had all these years to just sit there and ball hog, ball hog, and everybody just got to sit there and watch us. Oh, what time is it? Sit there and watch you just dribble. You're the only one playing until you need a bailout. That, that's over with. So I would say this was a way to go because you're now rewarding people for actually passing the ball and moving the ball around the way it should be. Even the greatest of superstars in the NBA knew when to pass that ball, all right? Even Kobe Bryant knew when to pass the ball, all right? It was difficult, but even he knew when to pass the ball. RIP Kobe, of course. Touch passer. Players who quickly move the ball upon receiving it will get faster pass animations with touch passer. I am with this right here. Again, reward the guy who looks for the open teammate and hits him on time, all right? And the fact that you get a boost for that, I'm all for that. I'm all for that. You get faster pass animations, that makes the game a little bit more realistic. And y'all know me with Rage King. If you're going to sell an NBA simulation game, make it as realistic as possible, all right? Make the people adjust. Make the people adjust to actually learning how to play the game of basketball, you will not lose fans teaching people how to actually and rewarding people for having the basketball IQ to not just score the ball and then forget everything else, but to play the game of basketball, the complete game of basketball, the right way. I'm all for that. Big driver. Face up bigs driving to the basket from within the mid-range area will receive an initial launch boost with big driver. Okay, this is kind of more of a speed. This is basically a speed boost badge. For the bigger guys who you see, you know, face up and get to the rim. You got guys like Giannis Antetokounmpo, uh, Zion Williamson, whenever he decides to take his nose out of Maria Mills' meow and actually decides to play the game and not filling up with gumbo and everything like that and actually being on the court. You actually see this badge happening right here in real time. You actually see that in NBA basketball. So I'm all for that, too. I'm all for that, too. Blow by. Quicker ball handlers receive boosts in body up interactions with defenders when blow by is a crypt. It seemed like they took a step back to NBA 2K18 where it literally had the blow by animation for simple for simply everybody that had a fast dribbler. You didn't even need a fast dribbler half the time to even get that. 
So they made it a badge, um, kind of 50-50 with it, but you actually do see this in an NBA game from time to time. So um, I'm not against it. I'm going to just say that I'm not against it. Physical handles. During physical body up interactions, players with physical handles have a higher chance of winning the outcome following a dribble move. You actually see this right here. Guys like Giannis Antetokounmpo, to, name, to just name someone off the top of my head. A guy that can get to the rim when he dribbles, it's almost like he hurts when he when he dribbles he dribbles the ball and tries to get to the rim. It's hell trying to guard them. So I'm with this badge right here. I'm all for it. For guys that love to get to the rim, I like this badge right here. I really do. Speed booster. I think we just went over this. A perimeter only. A perimeter only. So it only works for perimeter players. Quick first step badge. There we go. Speed booster will allow for quicker launches when coming from a standstill dribble situation. Again, we just went over this, but if you're not going to take speed boost out of the game, make it a badge and make people earn different tiers of the badge. Keep that word tier in, your, in the back of your mind because we're going to discuss that here too. Triple strike. Players excel with triple threat launches and jukes at a higher rate with triple threat strikes. I'm all for that because you look at a guy in his prime like Carmelo Anthony who would absolutely kill you from the triple threat position. I am all for that. I'm with it. I like it. W moves by 2K when it comes to these badges right here. Let's move on. And finally, you have badge tiers this year in NBA 2K24. Badges have four tiers in NBA 2K24. In addition, badges will have been split into four tiers. S minus, A minus, B minus, and C tier, or excuse me, S tier, A tier, B tier, and C tier. Forgive me for that. With S tier badges being regarded as the best of the lot, sticking to the course from NBA 2K23, a player's height determines tier assignments, and each badge has a unique set of attribute requirements for unlocking the use of the badge. I'm all for this is basically the rookie Hall of Fame gold, silver, instead of just having... Uh, the gold, the silver, the bronze, they just basically put them in tier list now, which is, is pretty much the same thing. It's just called something different. So not really something, you know, to really wow over. They just renamed it and rebrand what we already had before. And, and the fact that players height determines the tier assignments, it makes the game just a little bit more realistic. I know it's going to be people that highly disagree with that. But again, we're going for it. It looks like 2K is going for a more realistic basketball feel in this game. At least they're attempting to. Will they execute it is a whole nother question. But for that, well, with that being said, y'all, it's looking like NBA 2K is looking to make the game more realistic, which I have no problem with. A uh, more realistic game, I feel, in this day and age is especially needed. Uh, if people want to play a more arcadey game, go play 2K Playgrounds. Go play 3-on-3 three -three basketball if you're looking for a more arcadey style. This is an NBA simulation game, and they should be going for a more realistic simulation type style game. I will never be against it. And I will give props to 2K for doing the right thing in this situation and making the right badges, making the changes to the badges, and doing the right thing by making the game more realistic. I still say that the microtransactions are out of control, and I really do think that if anything was to ruin this game, it's going to be that the game will be entirely too expensive to play. I will stand on that. I will not budge on that. And I think 2K needs to seriously take a look at these microtransactions and lower them down just a little bit, or you're going to ruin the potential greatness that this game could, I, could actually have and actually live up to its, its potential if you lower those microtransactions. I'm not saying you got to completely get rid of them, but the microtransactions in this game are way too ridiculous. And I will never budge on that, never shade on that, never change on that. But that's just my opinion. Y'all let me know down in the comment section what y'all think about the new badge tier systems and the new badges and the old badges being removed and added to NBA 2K24. As long as y'all may respect for logical, we can have a conversation. But that's the end of my video. Hope y'all enjoyed. It's been a pleasure making it for you, and I will catch y'all in the next one. Peace.